Now, it is no lie that for Eagle fans like myself, 2021 has been a rough season. Now, with one game left to go, the question remains, can the Eagles make the finals? Now, before I get into this, you'll notice I decked my three screens out. We've got the Eagles logo, we've got my 2018 grand final video linked in description, and we have the 2018 grand final photo. All very relevant to this video, except for that. I just, I missed that video and I thought, hey, we'll put it on in the background. There is one game left and the short answer is yes. <laughs> there is still a chance that despite getting kicked out of the eight in the derby against Frio last week, the Eagles can still make the finals. Now, it's going to rely on about three different miracles happening, but there is a chance and that's... That's what this video is about. Can the Eagles still make the finals? Yes, they can. Now, despite losing Shannon Hearn a few weeks ago, and now also losing Tim Kelly last week, we have one major in that will more than likely be playing against the Brisbane Lions on Saturday, and that is Willie Rioli. He has finally served his two years, and he is free to play back in the AFL for the Eagles, and in my opinion, if I was Adam Simpson, they'd have nothing to lose by playing him. Oh, the memories. Sorry, I, I got distracted. I hope you guys aren't too distracted by that playing, but it's all right. We're just having a chat here. The first of the three miracles, the Eagles have to beat Brisbane. Like, they have to beat Brisbane, obviously. They're sitting ninth on the ladder, so for any sort of chance to stay in the eight when the final siren on the final game goes, we have to beat Brisbane. As I said, we're missing Hearn and we're missing Kelly. But thankfully, even though Sheed punched a docker in the stomach, he got led off with an early plea, $3,000 fine, and he is freed to play. So we still have a pretty solid team going into this game. They've just got to find their form and absolutely show Brisbane what they're made of. And I'm also hoping, being that Brisbane can't go up or down on the ladder anymore, that they're not going to put their body on the line as much. So if Eagles can come out and beat Brisbane on Saturday, they will temporarily jump back into the eight because they will go above GWS and they will go above Essendon. And that brings me to the second miracle that needs to happen. Carlton beating GWS. Carlton's side has taken a lot of big hits. Mackay has gone out for injuries, Silvani's out. They're sort of getting ready for next season already, so they've rested a lot of their star play. But... It is Eddie Betts' last game in the AFL. So maybe, maybe the Carlton team can just turn it on for this one game, get Betts an absolute good career win, and then send him off like the champion he is. Now, that's very unlikely because, as I said, Carlton do not have a good side in at the moment, and GWS are kind of on fire. But again, it's a miracle. It's possible it could happen. And that brings me to the final miracle. So, assuming Eagles beat Brisbane, that is an absolute must that has to happen. And then, maybe GWS beat Carlton, which will mean, regardless of if we're in the eight, then GWS will jump back above us on points. So, that would mean, on Sunday, Collingwood has to beat Essendon. Now, I have never, ever, ever in my life wanted Collingwood to win a game of football, I'll be honest. Again... It's the grand final video. What a good day that was. But if Eagles do beat Brisbane, Collingwood has to beat Essendon. I'll be cheering for Collingwood in that game because that would mean Eagles make the finals, which would just be wild. It also comes down to the Freo game, and Freo are playing St Kilda, but assuming we win even on our percentage, I don't think Freo would be able to jump above us, but that is still something that comes in there. Collingwood have been playing really well. Just these last few weeks, something's gone wrong, and I'm just hoping that Essendon are too overly confident and that they get shut down by Collingwood in this last game. Again, if Eagles lose, it doesn't matter. But if Eagles win, this is what has to happen. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of footy channels out there that know a bit more about what's going on or will have a better in-depth conversation about it. Uh, but I'm not a footy channel, so go check out True Footy. Um, my boy Jesse, big Eagles supporter as well. Um, I'm feeling for you through this time, mate. We're all in it together. There is a chance there's hope. But, um, I don't know, he's probably got a bit more to say about it. And just footy in general, go check him out if you have not already. I did a video with him over on his channel. I'll link it below. It was cool. We spoke about this grand final, actually. Uh, pretty cool. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
the Eagles are still a chance at making the finals. And if that happens, I will be so, so loud. Now, obviously, not everyone watching this, or not everyone that follows me is an Eagles supporter. Let me know down below. Good luck to whichever teams do end up making it into the finals. Obviously, I'm an Eagles supporter, so this is my opinions on that. But if you're not, I still appreciate you. Let me know. Let me know who you go for. Why I do have you here, when I hit 2,000 subscribers, I will be giving $200 away. There will be a bigger giveaway announcement when I hit that number. But you may as well subscribe now. And comment, uh, comment footy down below so that I know you subscribe from this video. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. A lot of fun videos coming up. As I mentioned, go check out True Footy. Give him a follow. Drewzy's another footy channel, but he goes for Dockers. But still, he'll have a lot to say, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Up the Eagles.